Hello everybody and welcome once again to Lawrence Plays Factorio Angel Bobs. This I believe is episode number 26, uh, so I've been going for quite a while now and yeah, we're getting quite a lot of stuff built up. So there's a few things I've been planning to do in this um, in, in the next few episodes. Uh, I think at the top top of the list is is um, getting a bit more um, stereotype sapphire this this stuff production in, in because this station is really struggling a bit and I'm not getting as much um, as much stuff out as much iron out as I would like to. So what I'm planning to do is put in an extra set basically double the number of these um, crushers I've got. So I'm going to end up with, um, an, an, well, is there room to go upwards? Maybe, yeah, there's probably room to go upwards. So another two above and another two below. And then I'm going to feed these belts from the other side of the station into those. And that should then effectively double my um, consumption rate. Because if you look here, this belt really isn't going at full speed. Um, in fact, I appear to have seven of these. Okay, so let's get started with this for now. And then I'll go, and then in a moment I'll go and grab some more. And this, as I say, will allow me to produce twice as much iron, so I'll be able to get actually use all of these um, furnaces here, and probably upgrade them all to be uh, running to be to be the steel furnaces, which would be rather nice. Oh, well, let's finish that off while I'm here. There we go. So let's see. Firstly, let's check to see if I've got any in my um, in my junk warehouse. I'm not sure I want to think about junk crushing, but uh, yeah. What are those? No, those are sorters, so I don't want them. I don't want floaters. These or I'll take these ore crushers and I'll shove them in, um, in, in, in down below to be made into Mark Twos. Uh, what of this stuff do I not need? I don't need that much coal or stone or those things. It does occur to me that I'm building up quite a lot of stuff in here that I should perhaps be feeding back into the system somewhere and just having it circulate back around and be reused. And so when I'm when I come looking for things, I don't have to come up here every single time and go, oh yeah, actually I'm going to want that at some point. Because it's a bit of a waste. Um, it's a bit of a waste of time having to go and check there, and then go, nope, there's none of what I wanted there, and then go all the way back down to the bottom of the, um, the base again. But then on the flip side, I don't really want to just let that fill up and fill up with stuff that costs resources and is potentially useful. And okay, granted, the the resource cost of these things isn't particularly high. Um, I've just overshot everything I wanted. The resource cost isn't particularly high, but it's still I feel like I I shouldn't just ditch them all. So are these, yes, these are the crushers I want. And I want to put these crushers in there to be made into the Mark IIs. There's no point in using Mark Ones at this point. I can easily afford the Mark Twos. Okay, I might have got quite a lot more of these than I actually needed, but eh, never mind. And uh, yeah, I'm going to have to break this belt. In fact, I might just have that come in somewhere completely different. There we go. Right, okay, so this, this is emptied already, so... Um, this is going to put even more load on the um, on the station's systems, but never mind. I'm sure it'll be fine. So this comes up here and through here, and the same on the other side. I should leave a gap, actually, shouldn't I? Yes, I should. Okay, let's redo all of this. Okay, so I'm having it out there, in there, and then the same up here. But here, I'm going to leave even more of a gap because there's the um, the uh, the stone removal thing is going to be in the way otherwise. So we have these on the outputs. It's there, there, and there. Yeah, right, that's what the... Oh, and there's going to be another output belt across here. This is going to be... Um... Oh no, I can manage... I, this can be managed, I think. Especially as this will now shrink down to just that going through there. And then we have an underground belt like that. Uh, put that higher up like that. And... That. This one's going to be from here, though. And that one will feed there. And I've run out of belts, of course I have. It feeds there. This is going to be a squeeze. Um, I'm not sure what the best way to fit, fit this in is. Um, probably to bring this down a bit, then come across. Okay, so I should now have... What's going on up here? Okay, that one's drained, but that would be feeding there and... There. I need to put in the um, the inserters. Now I'm sure. <laughs> let's put in two for each of these. Now I'm sure I don't need. Uh, oh, they should be the other way up. Yeah, I'm sure I don't need f uh, six of the um, express inserters going on uh, working on these. Let's put that there. Okay. And do that. Good. And then same down here. Okay, now I just need the train to come back again. How full are you? 
two thirds. Okay, so when the train comes back, all of these should then start running flat out. Now all of these need to be upgraded to yellow belts everywhere in order to get the throughput that, I'm, that I need for this system to work properly. However, the basics are all in there. So now if I just drive back down to the bottom and pick up some more, um, pick up some more, <laughs> pick up some more yellow belts, preferably without driving over everything first. Okay, so what do I have in the way of belts? I've got a smattering of reds. I've got basically no yellows. So let's get a load of yellows. I've got some more rubbish again. Maybe I should put that in some of the machines for, uh, up at the top. Let's go and take a look at that. Um, get rid of those and upgrade all of those belts, as uh, as, I, as I was saying. Here we go, this station. It's only after these splitters where it matters, so anything in here and beyond. So all of this should be yellow. This should definitely be yellow across here. My splitters aren't working. Why am I not getting... Why am I getting this through here? Oh, it's being fed from there. Oh, no. This all needs to be moved down a bit further. Ah! No! And uh, no, there's belts on here as well, that's ridiculous. Uh, crushed stuff right, can just go straight in there. <coughs> Uncrushed stuff right, can go in there. This one's got the same problem. Now there's actually, it occurs to me, there's no need to have yellow belts on all of this down here. <coughs> because as long as these ones are yellow, then it can take a full grey belt being dropped onto it and no more. But perhaps I should consider making those red. These should definitely be yellow, at least. <coughs> Like that. Okay, so we've now got full input going. <laughs> we've got a problem with the um, output. Okay, I'm going to need to upgrade this to red. I'm producing so much crushed stone from all of this that it just can't get through. <sighs> right, let's go and unload my pockets again because I've ended up with a lot of stuff I don't need or want. Or I could put, just put, maybe I'll just put it into the car's inventory for now in case I want it later. So I don't need this many yellow belts. I don't need any bricks. <clears throat> I don't need any train stuff at the moment, or those, or certainly don't need that. Right, that's a bit better. Let's go and get those um, those red belts now. Do I have many red splitters? Yes, I've got loads of red splitters. That's good because I'm going to need I'm going to need those because I'm going to need to upgrade the splitters that are putting the um, the crushed stone onto the onto the main belt every time. <clears throat> now I don't think I need to upgrade it from down here because the belt's empty all the way up to about here. Oh, I need better brakes in this car. Um, yeah, so it's it's okay up to about here, and then I've just got too much coming in. So let's make these red to start with, and then the belts as well. It occurs to me, probably slightly too late, that if I started this at the other end, it would have been a bit more obvious where I got to with the upgrade. Okay, so this appears to all be done already. The question is, is this enough? That's a lot of... Oh yeah, we're getting some gaps now. That suggests it is enough. Yes, it's no longer full at the bottom. Okay, good. So, <laughs> now that's all sorted. It's, well, I don't know. I mean, the question is actually, is this is this now all okay because I've run basically run out of iron supply? So the next thing to do is to increase the uh, quantity of this of the ore that's coming in. And that means I need to go down here and start making this area safe, or at least making it available for use. And that means it's uh, time to go and start fighting. So for that, what do I need? I need lots of walls, I need lots of red ammunition, I need lots of turrets, because I'm going to need to build up the walls, and I need lots of belts, which might as well be the grey ones, because I don't need to deliver ammunition that quickly. So let's see what we've got here. Uh, I don't need furnaces, I don't need assembly machines, I do need grenades, I don't need broken walls, I don't need that. I suppose I don't actually need the more advanced belt types either. I do need walls. I do need turrets. Are there any grey belts in here? Some underneath these. Let's take a stack of those. Yes, and some of those. That seems like a reasonable start. Um, I think it'll be most of the stuff I need. I do need burner inserters though. Where are those? There's five there. Only five. Okay. That's pretty good. I think I've got everything I need except burner inserters. And I'll pick some of those up on the way past the um, inserter factory. At the bottom of the factory on the way past. That's here. That one's burner inserters. Nice, 150. Okay, so I might as well be methodical about it. I'll go and get this one first, then move over to these two, then that one, and just work my way across. And <clears throat> I need to decide how far down I want to go, really, I suppose, because maybe the ideal would be to come down to about here and take off this this area, but then, there's a, then I'm going to go, oh, I could get that one as well. But the, these are some very big um, biter areas down here, so... 
I'm not sure. I'll see. I'll see how fighting the ones near the top goes, and then I'll perhaps come back and take on some more. Now, typically, the um, the red ammunition appears not to have made it down this far yet. That's kind of awkward. I was sort of wanting that in order to arm myself up properly. So let's put in some um, some more weapons along here. Oh, for don't overwrite the existing ones. There we go. All right. How far away is the red ammunition? There's just been has there been no fighting at all on this bottom uh, perimeter? I guess not. Okay, I'm gonna have to do this. The um, gonna have to go and get it manually. What's that all about? Here we go. Here's some red and some yellow mixed in with it as well. I don't want the yellow. Okay, let's see how we can do how we get on with that. The only real concern with this it is that it means the um, the turrets that I'm gonna run screaming to when I when the biters all become a bit too much for me. Are all going to be using the sm the um, the little gentle ammunition, but oh well, we'll see how that goes. Ooh. Kite, 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 kite. Ooh. Caught on this inserter. How am I caught on an inserter? There we go. Okay, that went all right. Um, the only damage that was done to my stuff was done by me driving into it, which is a bit embarrassing. Um, all right. Oh god, this bite spawning in more big creatures now. I wasn't ready for that. Oh no! Goodness sake! Oh! Goodness sake! <laughs> That's honestly terrible. I've just... I don't know what to say. Um, all the damage... Basically all the damage that was done to me... <sighs> it feels like all the damage that was done to me was done by me driving into stuff rather than... Um, in combat. That's just embarrassing. Okay, time to go and get another car. I'm... Okay, what do, what do I need to develop a tank? I need blue science for one thing. And sulfur and explosives and blue science and military and... Sure. Okay, let's, let's, let's start on these things anyway, just because I might as well. I'm not going to get a tank for a good while and I suspect... I, th I think I'm going to need petrochem before I get sulfur as well. So it's going to be a while until I can do that sort of thing. But, yeah. In fact, maybe I should just build engines down here as well. It's something I'm probably going to need quite a lot of the way I'm going. What goes into an engine? Iron gears, iron pipe and steel plate. Oh, it's nothing. Would be nothing if I hadn't... Oh, I dumped everything I didn't need in the car as well, so I've just lost ev all of that stuff. I mean, sure, none of it was particularly valuable, but still. Oh. I shall add blue science to my um, to-do list as well. That's something else I need to uh, develop at some point. Oh, that's bricks. Ammunition, here we go. Okay, let's head back out again and try it again and hopefully have a bit less fail this time. Um, you'd think this would be something I'd be reasonably good at by now. I was wondering earlier, actually, how much the um, the port I've been drinking will affect my, my uh, Factorio play. Um, so maybe that's the answer. It means I can't drive. Don't drink and drive, kids. It means you end up driving into a wall and the biters eat your car. I'm going to get rid of that rock, because it's right outside the gate I've made. There we go. There we go, that's the way to do it. Much better. So, yeah, I think now I've got, now I've got the... Um, oh, why doesn't that have an inserter? Did I drive over that one? Probably. Okay, so I think the way to do it is to basically forget about the grenades. I've got the armour-piercing ammunition is good enough now that the grenades are a bit unnecessary. Or maybe it's that um, the grenades are, better, are good at worms? I don't know. Um... But anyway, the idea is just just keep running past, strafing the um, strafing the, the spawners, try and ignore the biters themselves. Oh, for goodness sake! I, I don't know what to say. Um, I think today is clearly a bad day for combat for me. Uh, I, yeah. Hmm. Um, not that one. That one. Let's take some coal and. Did I put any iron in here? Yeah, there's some iron. Uh, Oh, it's run out of pipes as well. I, should, I need to put some more pipes in there. Pipes? No, not those pipes. Those pipes. Well, obviously this is going rather poorly. Um, <laughs> I hope it's making for some entertaining watching at least. I mean, I know I'm not the best at combat at the best, uh, even even normally, but uh, maybe this, but maybe it'll, it'll make for some entertaining um, footage. What else do I need? Oh, yeah, ammunition and a machine gun and armor. I picked up some coal, didn't I? Yes, I did. I'll take copper as well. Okay. Need to find some copper. Uh, I'm 
grenades. I need, some, need to pick up some grenades. I think some of the rest of what I need is going to be... Um, I'm going to be able to recover it from my corpse because that wasn't too far away from the from the uh, from the base in general. So hopefully it won't be too hard to get at. What else do I need for a car? Presumably I'm going to need some steel. Yes. So I need steel and I need copper. So this one. Oh, I can put the pistol in the box of shame. There we go. Four pistols now. <laughs> Come on. Build faster. I was running out of steel as well. No. How do you how do you put half half it? There we go. That's how. Right, take... I don't know, I haven't been counting. Take embarrassingly large number. Third time I've gone out hunting those bite, but the bite is in that area anyway. <sighs> gone the wrong way again. Never mind. Okay, here's the exit. Where did I... How far did I make it? Oh, there's my corpse, I think. Yes, <laughs> the trail of um, grenade remains. Uh, makes it rather obvious. Okay, so let's try and kite the biters. There we go. Doesn't go too quickly or I'll leave them so far behind they'll stop bothering to follow. Bring them up here to be mercilessly slaughtered. Or for me to just drive into everything again. Goodness sake. Oh, no. Not again. <laughs> I'm using the grenades rather than sh shooting because shooting slows you down. This is getting ridiculous. What, I died so quickly it hasn't even built up 10 engine units for me yet. That's just terrible. And the thing is, I wasn't even dying due to getting overwhelmed by the biters so much as I was just dying because I drove in, drove into things and got stuck. I'll give it another try. And then when this goes horribly wrong, um, maybe I'll accept that I've drunk too much to stop to be playing Factorio and go to bed. <laughs> Can't believe I've missed those trees every time I've driven down there. Okay, where's that rock I keep driving into? Oh, actually, no, first, reclaim the um, stuff from the corpse. There's the rock I keep driving into. Let's get rid of that. <laughs> That's got to help, right? Oh, and that one as well, apparently. That one's a bit tougher. There we go. Now, hopefully, I can just do a drive-by on this spawner. There we go. That's pretty much what was supposed to happen. Now I can come back down here. That one's now dead. There's a worm as well. They got me. On! <laughs> I missed one of the rocks, apparently. Well, I say I missed. I uh, didn't exactly miss it. So you didn't exactly miss, said Pooh, but you missed the balloon. I'm also driving around with live railway lines as well, so that's probably that's another thing that's going to get me killed if I'm not careful. So now all that's left is those two worms, I think. So as long as I drive erratically, which shouldn't be much of a problem for me the way I'm going. There we go. Is it worth testing this one? Not sure. The problem now is I'm getting further and further away from the area where I built all of these turrets. So it's a longer and longer run back to them. Which means, well, firstly I'm more likely to get lost or confused or something. And secondly, the, the biters are more likely to just go, ah, can't be bothered to follow him. So I think I'll build up another... Do I have weapons? Yes, I do. I've got turrets. Good. So if I come along here and armour up another chunk of the base to back this point... Okay, apparently I got my spacing wrong. Never mind. And then let's replace some of these snipers as well. I think a mix of the two is works very, very well in this game. Because you've got the um, the snipers providing their high DP, or at least the high individual shot power, potentially one-shotting a lot of the uh, tougher biters that come along. <clears throat> uh, but then you've also got the, um, the normal turrets providing what's probably best described as weight of firepower. Putting down lots and lots of covering fire over all of the um, all of the incoming biters, taking out all the little weak ones, because otherwise you got you have the risk of the um, the weak ones overwhelming the uh, the sniper turrets because they're just not getting killed quickly enough. Here we go. That's a bit, a bit slightly better kiting. And I'll just turn around here. Nicely done. Get back down. Nope. There's still a lot of them. And that's basically the problem I'm going to run into is that that base is sufficiently big. There's enough spawners there that by the time I've run down, kited them all back up here, and then headed back down myself for another for another pass, enough fresh biters have spawned in. Enough fresh spike biters have spawned in that um, it's still dangerous down there. Yeah, and this time there weren't that many of them followed me up any either. But they are all over that. Oh no, they're going back home again. 
Okay, got quite a lot of them following this time. There we go, that's all the spawners taken out. So now I just need to try and kite them all up to the defensive line so I can wipe them all out. And it's almost job done, just clearing up a few stragglers and I think there's a worm left in there as well. Yes, there's a worm. Only one. Ah, and a rock. No, not again. <laughs> and this time it spitters as well, which is harder. Oh, right, you know what? I'm going to stop at this point, I think. Um, maybe I'll go back down and get the get the uh, corpse, but I think I'm playing badly enough that I clearly can't deal with combat at the moment. Has it been long enough? It has been long enough to produce the um, the engines for my next car, though. So it's not all not all bad. Oh, I don't want that wood. Oh, no, it's... But yeah, that is wood. Oh, well. Steel as well. Okay. Well, that's been um, quite an embarrassing episode, if I'm honest. I've demonstrated a complete inability to um, to fight the biters. I've died more times than I care to admit. Um, yeah. Oops. Don't put those in there. That said, I've... Well, I've wiped out a couple of biter nests. No, three, three biter nests, I think it was. Just not very efficiently. <laughs> Where was I when I died? Oh, there I am. Okay. Let's attempt to kite what's left back up to the turrets. Or just shoot them, I suppose. Yeah, why didn't I do that last time? Ooh, that's got lots of interesting coloured biters. Oh, trees. <laughs> oh no, trees. <laughs> I'm starting to think it's not even that I'm driving, that there's anything so, so much wrong with my driving, as it is just uh, is my observation. I'm not paying enough attention to where, to what's in front of me, and therefore I'm ending up driving into rocks because I'm looking further down the screen to make sure I don't, or to make sure I'm heading the right way towards the um, the nests that I'm trying to attack. Are they coming? Yes, just about. Oh, that exploded. Come, come over this way. That's an interesting one. There's some funny effects going on from these um, other brightly coloured biters. I think the orange ones are spitting things, some sort of puffballs that explode. No, I need to go back and repair. Yeah, the biters move a lot quicker than the um, spitters do, so they tend to keep up with me and therefore get destroyed by the um, by the turrets, whereas the spitters get left behind because I'm trying not to get overrun by the biters, and therefore they're still there waiting for me when I come back down again, like that. Ow! I think I drove into that one. Actually, I think the orange ones might still be seeking. I can outrun them, but I can't out um, I can't dodge them once they've been fired. Whereas the acid spitters like that, I can dodge just by changing direction. Yeah, that purple one's got stuck on the tree, which is a bit annoying. Yeah, these trees are kind of in the way. Oh no, 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 no. Oh goodness sake. <laughs> okay, even on foot apparently I can outrun the spitters. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna give up at this point I think and there's there's a, still a spawner down there unfortunately I've done <laughs> I've done a very little bit of what I set out to do today that one's on the edge of some woods which makes it harder this one will be hopefully easier because I can just circle it and it's only got one spawner as well which means a lot fewer biters this one shouldn't be hopefully won't be too bad that's not going to be too bad only, again only two spawners although it is spitters this one is going to be a challenge I suspect because that's quite big and it's got a lot of critters in it but yeah I'm I'm going to call that an episode because it just isn't going well for me at all. Um, thank you for watching. Please don't ridicule me too much. Um, and I hope you'll come back and watch the next one where I promise I'll have drunk slightly less and hopefully be able to shoot a bit straighter. Thank you for watching. See you next time. <laughs>